the importance of naming your LLC. So if you either have a not so professional LLC name, I mean business name, or if your business is in a high risk industry, we don't want to have those names on our LLC documents for this reason. If you are uh, in a high risk industry, so trucking, real estate, um, tax preparation, credit repair, CBD, car dealerships, uh, those industries are flagged as high risk and you won't get either as high of, a, of an uh, approval or you'll be denied. If we maybe have a fun or an urban name, like if my name was Torx Up and Shorty, I don't really need to have that on my corporate documents walking into a bank for funding and my name is Torx Something Shorty. Okay, so what I would do is I would have more of a, gen, of a gen, generic or general corporate name like J&V Holdings, um, Joy's Enterprises. I would then either get from my LLC something called a DBA, a fictitious name, or an assumed name certificate. Depending on your state, they will use one of those three names, and that will allow me to do business in a different name. So if I have a boring corporate name like Joyce Holdings, boo, boring, I can still do business in Twerk Something Shorty by filing a fictitious name or an assumed name or a DBA for my LLC. Not for me personally, for my LLC. So make sure that we have a professional or generic name.